Hey everyone, this is Kat. I think you all know by now, I think you've all figured out by now that I'm not Eli. It said that people haven't figured it out sooner, but I'm not her. Anyways. I'd like to talk about the Chanel and Bernard situation yet again. I don't really care about what happens next. I don't really care about what I lose. All I want is for the truth to get out. If I lose everything that I've gained in the Mandela Effect community, I lose everything. I don't care. Every single spirit that has approached me to tell me to stay away from Chanel, and that's been multiplying that by now, multiple by now, they have all denied Christ ever came in the flesh to me, to my face. That, that doesn't really give me a vote of confidence to trust the mob. It actually tells me that there's something else going on behind the scenes. And if you're mad at me for saying that, you can be mad at me. This stunning of Chanel and Brandt is demonically inspired. I don't care how that makes you feel. It's the truth. That I stand by the truth. If that makes you feel mad at me, and you want to kick me out of the Bible change group, go ahead and kick me. I don't really care anymore. The fact is, if the majority were to tell me to jump off a cliff with them, I would not do it. The fact is, the majority is not always right, and in this case, the majority is completely wrong. If I was supposed to come to some other conclusion than the one I have come to, well, I'm sorry I have not lived up to your expectations. I've been actively testing every spirit that I've been encountering so far during this entire thing. Their spiritual warfare is real. I'm not going to deny that to make everybody else more comfortable. And I'm not going to leave Chanel either to deal with it on her own. She has a spiritual target on her back. Demons only ever work this hard to attack someone if they are terrified of that person. You know that, right? In other words, the demons are very scared of both Chanel and Brandt. Chanel and Brandt are not the monsters that they're being described as by certain people who will not be named in this video. Since apparently I'm not supposed to name them now. But they're not monsters. They're my friends. The fact that People have to lie about them in order to justify what they're saying about them is also not, doesn't give me a vote of confidence. There are definitely lies being told and that's not okay. You don't get to lie about my friends like that and then expect me to not object. That's, that'll just blow up in your face. I'm willing to do an awful lot for friendship. And when you try to get me to turn on my friends and I, well, oh, I care about, that's not going to work out well for you either. I'm sorry if you failed to figure that out before all of this happened. There are several factors, both from a physical and spiritual standpoint, as to why I am, I've been doing what I've been doing, protecting Chanel and Brant so much. If the majority decides to punish me for that, that's fine with me. Because I'm just standing up for what I believe in. I'm just standing up for what I believe is right. And I know I can be blunt. I'm not the kindest about it in all situations at all. I'm far from perfect. Maybe I am just a bit immature in my ways.
but we're all works in progress. I love the truth and I want the truth out. I'm alright with it if I get punished by truthers for choosing the truth over a lie. That's all I have to say for this video. I'll see you guys next time.